Hey guys, uh, we have the next question here from first module. So that is find radius of curvature at point P on the parabola y square is equal to 4ax. So this is the radius of curvature formula. So before going to solutions, please subscribe to our channel for more videos. So what is a radius of curvature formula for a polar curve? So rho is equal to, rho is the radius of curvature, rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx square whole power 3 by 2 over d square y by dx square. So given y, we need to find dy by dx and d square y by dx square and substitute them in this formula and we'll get radius of curvature uh, for this parabola. Okay. So what is given? y square is equal to 4ax or y is equal to square root of 4ax. Square root of 4ax I can write as square root of 4 is 2, square root of a is square root of a into square root of x is square root of x. Why did I write like this? Because it is easier to differentiate. Now what I need to find is dy, dy by dx, right? So dy by dx is equal to d by dx of this function, 2 into square root of a into square root of x. 2 into square root of a is a constant, so that will come outside. So that will be 2 into square root of a as it is. What is differentiation of square root of x? It is 1 over 2 into square root of x. Okay. So what will I get? 2 and 2 get cancels. Square root of a by square root of x or dy by dx is equal to a by x under root. Okay. So this is dy by dx. How can we find d square by dx square? We need to differentiate this uh, with respect to 1. So it, that will be d square y by dx square will be d by dx, okay. Of what? I'll write this as square root of a into 1 by square root of x, okay. So 1 by square root of x is nothing but 1 over x power 1 by 2, okay. So square root of x square root is power 1 by 2, okay. So this is with nothing but uh, d over dx uh, square root of a x, uh, x power 1 by 2 in the denominator, if it comes to numerator, it will be x power minus 1 by 2. The power changes sign if it goes from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator. Why did I do this? Because again, it's easier to differentiate because I know differentiation of x power n is n x power n minus 1, right? So the, this differentiation will become square root of a as it is, okay? What is n? n is minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2 x power minus 1 by 2 minus 1, n x power n minus 1. So that is the differentiation of x power n. So this will be uh, minus square root of a by 2, I will write as it is here. x power minus 1 by 2, minus 1 is minus 3 by 2. Okay. So if this goes to the de denominator, what will I get? Minus square root of a by 2, 1 over x power 3 by 2. Okay. So d square y by dx square is nothing but minus square root of a by x power 3 by 2 is I can write it as square root of x cube square root of x is x cube is nothing but x into square root of x so I'll get in the denominator 2 into x into square root of x so now I found out dy by dx and d square over by dx for given curve pa that is parabola y square is equal to 4x now let's just substitute them here what will I get 1 plus what is dy by dx? dy by dx is square root of a by x. I, I have dy by dx whole square. So if you square this, square and square root it cancels, you will get a by x whole power 3 by 2. In the denominator, you will get e square by dx square is minus square root of a by 2x into root x. So if you take LCM in the numerator, what will you get? x plus a by x whole power 3 by 2. And in the denominator, as it is, minus square root of a by 2 into x into square root of x, okay. So here, if you have a by b power m, okay, if you have a by b power m, this is nothing but a power m by b power m, okay, this is the law of exponent. So I can write this as x plus a power 3 by 2 by x power 3 by 2, okay, and another uh, ratio and proportion law you know or a decimal law you know is if you have a by b by c by d you can write it as a by b into d by c right so here I have, I have written numerator here this is a by b this will be the denominator will become 2x root x by square root of a 
the denominator will reciprocate and becomes multiplication instead of division. Okay, and this minus sign, I will keep it here. Okay, so what will you get? x power 3 by 2 or x root x. We have x root x here. So this x root x and this x power 3 by 2, it cancels. So what will you get? Rho is equal to rho is equal to minus x plus a power 3 by 2, this 2 I will write here, divided by square root of a. So this is the formula for radius of curvature on the uh, on the parabola y square is equal to 4x. If, you, if the point is given as 2 comma 3 or something, you have to substitute the value of x here and you will get the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature depends only on x in this case. Okay. So this is how you solve questions in the examination. If you want to learn more about radius of curvature and practice more questions, you can visit our website and check our course that we have done on calculus and linear algebra. That is VTU M1 subject. Uh, it, we have covered all the basics that you need to solve the examination questions and we also solved many uh, previous year question papers. The link to the course is in the description.